Good morning students. Today I am going to talk about the characters in the novel Tess of the Doverwills. In this novel there are three main sets of characters. Tess is the chief character, the heroine of the novel. Besides her there is Alec, Doverwill and Angel Clare and Jack Derbyfield and Joan Derbyfield, parents of Tess. They are like the cogs in the machinery or we can say that these four characters influence the main character. Besides these, there are three milkmaids and the dairy labourers uh, and they are the rustic bystanders. All these characters can be grouped as either round characters or complex characters and flat characters. So Tess, Angel Claire and Alec Doubleville are the round characters or we can say they are the complex characters uh, as the Hardy shows their gradual evolution. Then if you talk about Tess she is one of the greatest female characters in English literature. Among Hardy's heroines, she deserves the greatest attention and popularity. Hardy has spent much energy and skill on the portrait of Tess in his novel Tess of the Doublewills. Her physical traits, her simplicity, her intelligence, her sense of responsibility, her deep moral sensibility, her self-sacrificing nature uh, and above all her heroic endurance of her greatest misfortunes. All these qualities make Tess one of the most loving characters in the English fiction. So students, uh, if you talk about Tess, she is portrayed as an exceptionally beautiful country girl, a young, attractive girl. She is so attractive that everybody likes to see her face. And in fact, we can say that it is her physical beauty or her physical charms that cause a lot of troubles to her. Both Alec and Angel get attracted towards her mainly for this reason apart from other reasons and angel even calls her a fresh and virginal daughter of nature her beauty as she grows from a deceptively mature girl to a young woman of 20 or so is continued continually stressed and hardy particularly emphasizes the attractiveness of her eyes and her fluty voice Her beauty becomes a burden to her. Tess is brought physically to life to a much greater extent than any other character by Hardy. So, she is a very beautiful, attractive young girl and she is also a very simple, rustic girl we can say. She is not much educated but she is quite intelligent and her mental qualities are no less rare and delightful. She is high strung, impressionable and poetic. Then if we talk about her sense of responsibility, she is a very dutiful girl, very responsible. Though quite young, she has a high sense of responsibility and sacrifices herself for the well-being of her family. The welfare of her near and dear ones is the prime concern of her life. Tess is seen keenly conscious of her duty as the eldest child of her parents. She is essentially a selfless and dedicated girl. Both her parents act irresponsibly at times and therefore Tess is almost like a second mother to her younger brothers and sisters 
and when the family horse prince dies in an accident she realizes her responsibility to do something to support the family and it is this trait in her character that is exploited by alec she never bothers for her own personal comforts uh further in the story we see that when she is informed of her mother's serious illness she reaches home without delay and devotes herself to the care of her mother and her younger brothers and sisters and uh, when her father dies suddenly she because of uh, the poverty of the family or because of the need for the money she finally surrenders to alec once again for the sake of her family for the derby field family is reduced to destitution and thus tess's whole life we can say is a long tale of self sacrifice so she is a very self sacrificing uh, girl then next uh, thing uh, if you talk about is that she has great power of endurance she uh uh bears all the uh, hardships of life with uh, fortitude with uh, courage and uh, she keeps a brave attitude then another thing is her melancholy temperament by nature tess is a girl of melancholy temperament and she is always morbid in her thinking uh in the story when her brother ibrahim asks her once about their planet she says that they are living not on a splendid but on a blighted planet so she has grown into a reflective girl the main reasons are that her father is generally ill and drinks heavily and even her mother is always washing and never getting finished so these are the things uh, due to the circumstances or due to uh, uh, we can say that because of her parents uh, because they act irresponsibility so she uh, turns into a mature girl at a very young age and this also changed her temperament uh even angel clare marks her sad imaginings and he discovers gloomy traces upon her face angel is surprised to note that such a young girl should have such deep feelings then if we talk about her encounter with alec we see that from the time tess meets alec to his murder by her she has never liked him When she first meets Alec her meeting is marked with a strong dislike for this man though her mother sends her to Tentridge with fond hope of getting her daughter married to the dowerful young man but Tess has never thought in that direction throughout her stay at dowerful house she feels repelled by the advances of Alec and she strongly refuses to allow him to take liberties with her and finally when she murders him uh, this reveals her true feelings for the man of who is responsible for her misfortunes and for her disaster and if we talk about her relations with angel we uh, can say that uh, the days which she passed with angel are the only bright days in the life of tess she falls in love with angel at first sight when she sees him while dancing with other village girls in the may dance she is irresistibly drawn towards him from the very beginning of her acquaintance with him and her love for angel is ideal and self sacrificing but she tries to avoid him at first because she knows it full well that with her past she is quite unworthy of him it is after claire's long persistent wooing that she agrees to marry him Tess has great power of endurance. She, uh, we can say that uh, from the beginning to her end, from the beginning uh, of of her life's journey till her end, 
Tess's life is a drama of pain and suffering. Being the eldest child of the Durbeyfield family, uh, she has to endure it every front. But her greatest misfortune begins with her seduction by Alec. then she comes back to her village and endures a calamity for the sake of the family she leads a life of self chastisement and penance then when she gave birth to her child and the child dies soon after um his death she decides to leave her village then at Telbothis she tries to forget her grim past and makes a fresh beginning but soon angel becomes a source of her further misfortune angel looks upon her as a guilty woman woman in the guise of an innocent girl again uh, the hardships of the winter labor in the turnip field the persecution of a brutal employer the depressing and insulting comments of angel's brothers overheard by her and above all alex's untiring importunities are all too hard upon her but very heroically she on- endures them all so she shows a rare fortitude in her endurance of her endless misfortunes finally we can say that tess is a pure woman and this aspect of her character has distinguished her among all heroines of thomas hardy in spite of her seduction by alec tess is called a pure woman she cannot be considered pure according to orthodox opinion but on the ground of reason and good sense tess is as pure as any girl in fact tess should be considered spotless as angel clare also calls her because purity of a person consists in the purity of heart and not in the so called purity of body character should be judged not only by tangible achievements but also by aims and intentions of a person tess is forced into an immoral act and she is not responsible for that thing her intentions are never immoral she is pure at heart and this purity of her character is ultimately realized by angel who finally repents for his act of desertion of tess thus we see that tess is a great creation of hardy and he portrays her character very beautifully she is the most lovable of hardy's heroines and we can say that whatever tess did it was for the well being of a family uh because of a love for angel and because of all these things we can say that she really is a pure woman and hardy paints a grand portrait of a well rounded character in form of tess or treza dubbyfield her actual name in the novel or her full name in the novel so this is these are the qualities of uh, the character of the heroine of this novel tess of the dubbervilles and tomorrow or in the next class we will talk about the next two important characters angel clare and alec dubbles thank you